confession. Obsession. Hello everyone, uh, Faction House back again with another tutorial for Cinema 4D. Uh, it's kind of like a more uh, quick tip uh, for displacement noises animation. And I uh, hope you enjoy this tutorial. So uh, let's make a new project. And uh, let's, uh, let me show you how to do this uh, very easily. So I'm going to add a sphere over here. I'm going just to increase a little bit of the radius. Just put the segments to around 40. So we can have a more detailed object over here. So. Uh, once so we have this, we can start adding our displacer as a child of a sphere and start to mixing, mixing the values of this. So uh, on your shader, you're going to put a noise effector over here. And on the noise, uh, the noise you can uh, choose which noise better fits uh, your animation. But I'm going to choose the bezel for this uh, quick tip. So uh, I'm going to increase a little bit the scale of the, of the texture over here so we can have a different uh, animation. And also, I'm going to increase the speed of the animation to, to around 1.8. That's cool. And now we can start, um, if you play, you see that your spikes are already moving and all that. So, But uh, you can increase a lot of the detail of this by the strength and the height uh, of the displacer. So uh, if you increase a little bit the height, you see that the spikes are growing up uh, a lot more. So. Uh, now, if you need the detail for this, you can just uh, add a hypernerves over here and just, and if you see, you see that you have a very detailed object over here. So uh, it's just a quick tip, uh, as I said, but um, you can uh, add uh, which noise uh, better fits your, your animation or your scene or whatever project that you want to do. So I uh, hope you enjoy this quick tip. And if you have uh, any questions or, or any doubts, on this, just uh, leave a comment down there, and uh, we will see you guys on the next project. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, see you guys soon. So, cheese.